Cause that's what mama's supposed to say Look both ways when you cross the street Keep a steady line and keep your feet straight And everything will fall in line Yeah, I've heard that line too But what you gonna do when the devil comes looking for you? What up guys? What up YouTube? What up beautiful people? Welcome to... The Mad Inge channel. Glad to have you guys here as always. Today we got some Chloe and we got some Haley. We got some Tiny Desk Concert. Yesterday we did Haley Angel and I loved it so much that I wanted to hear more. And I love these Tiny Desk Concerts so I was like, why the hell not? Um, yeah, I didn't get my head implants yet. We're working on it. Guys, if you donate to the channel, I'll be able to afford that and you will see that I am, my head is full. I'm just kidding. I would never do that. That is, I was joking, guys. But um, yeah, man, I'm excited to hear this. We're not even going to talk much. Please subscribe. Please share. Please comment. Definitely join the Patreon. Um, I brought the podcast channel over to this channel. So now any podcast episodes will be on this channel. Um, you could find that video, the one video I transferred to this channel so far uh in the channel yeah or the podcast playlist all right so let's just shut up and get right to this tiny dead i think this was during covid so it's at home but uh we'll see we'll see how it is so happy to be here with you all virtually. We want to welcome you all to our world. This is Don't Make It Harder on Me. All right, let me, before they start, I just want to talk about how beautiful they look, how beautiful the stage looks. Everything looks classy, pizzazz. You know, it's got that style. It's got that vibe. It's got that coziness. I wouldn't mind sitting in the audience, uh, drinking a monster, smoking a vape, or... Maybe a beer, maybe a cocktail, maybe a Long Island iced tea. Anyway, let's continue. They, it's, it's already beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. All right, so I need you to chill, bro. We're like friends, man. What you doing? Like, uh, you ever want to be friends with someone and they want more and it's kind of like, like, I just want to be cool. I don't want all that from you. I like you as a person. I respect you. I love you, but just not on that playing field. But she said... You already had your chance, so maybe they did date in the past, and shit just went south. Shit just went wrong, but I don't know. Let's continue, because I got to hear this chorus. Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear this lyric again. All 
All right, so she has a new boyfriend. She's with a new guy. And the old dude's like, hey, baby, I kind of like you. I kind of want to be with you. I got a crush on you. I doubt he talks like that. I don't know why I'm making a country accent. But you know I got someone. What are you doing, man? Why are you trying to make me feel... Why are you making this hard on me? And I kind of like you, too. I don't want to be laying in bed with him thinking of you. That's not a good feeling. It's like, fuck, I want to text him. Why am I with this sh schmuck? Even if the new guy's a good dude, sometimes just certain people light your fire more than other people. You can meet two girls, both great personalities, both treat you good, both are kind to you, and you like both of them, but one of them might light your fire the way the other one doesn't. That's just the way connection works. Something in the atmosphere of life. That just, you connect with some people, some people make your fire burn, blow, explode, and other people's like, meh. Just to reply to her, I told you not to want me, and you just won't listen. Come on, Chloe. Come on, Haley. It's hard to make someone just stop. They, they ain't a light switch. It's tough. They know it. I'm sure they felt that. You know, they, they, and in a way, I bet if the dude stopped liking them or, you know, stopped showing attention, stopped caring, they'd probably kind of miss it just a little bit. But they would appreciate it at the same time. Damn, I know, I know you, you, you are a hoe, bro. <coughs> God damn, we dying over here. You are a hoe. I know you've been around the block. I'm not the only girl. You're probably, you might be flirting with other hoes. Other girls. All right, let me shut up. I got to stop talking vulgar like that because I got to remember she did play The Little Mermaid and kids might watch this. But I think I have it set where it's not for kids. Oh my god. I gotta comment on their harmonizing. The way they work so well together. Their voices are perfect together. They're sisters, right? You guys said there's somebody said they're sisters. Uh, it's that's beneficial as hell to the way their voices are. Uh, I think that's why they sound so good together. They know each other like the back of their hand. They grew up together. They're, they're they're siblings. I think if they're not, I sound like a total idiot. But they just sound amazing. I love how one will be doing, like, Chloe will be doing one thing and the other one's doing something else. And it just goes together so good. It just, it's such a vibe. I feel like, I don't know, I love it.
What'd she say? Thank you. That was fun. That was fun. Let me know what she said at the end of that. What did she say? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>I can't make out what they said. Somebody please let me know. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. That was fun. Oh, wow. Let's talk about the song for a minute. I love the lyrics. I love all the harmonizing. My favorite part is... You know the part I'm talking about. I just sound horrible doing it. But I just love it. It's such a vibe. That song is going in my music. It's going in my Apple Music playlist, music, whatever. I don't care if you see me down the street, 6-1, tattoos, piercings, uh, long hair, mohawk, this type of shit. That type. Of, look at this. Look at this. I don't care. You're And you might think, God, he's probably listening to Slayer. He's probably listening to Metallica. No, he's listening to Chloe and Haley. That's what he's listening to. He ain't too cool. They're cool. I'm a nerd. <laughs> well, I'm happy to be here at home style, right? This is so cool. Yeah. So this next song- I told you it was cool. I'm about to sing. It's called Baby Girl. And I know this year 2020 has been absolutely bonkers for all of us. And for those moments COVID. where you kind of feel less than and like you're not good enough, that's why we wrote this song for ourselves as a mantra to let ourselves know that whatever happens will be okay and that this is our world. And yeah, so this is Baby Girl. <laughs> I like it. I like that sentiment because it is usually okay. You know, most. Most times, it's okay. Even when you think things are so bad. How am I going to get through this? How am I going to survive this? You get through it. You just do it. You know, somebody could die close to you in your family, and you're like, I can't live without them. What happens? You live. You continue on. You just do. We just, The human is so good at adapting and solving problems and getting out of situations and figuring out the way between this rock and a hard place and go to that soft place. I'm just, that was a good saying. I might make a t-shirt out of that. Anyway, but let's hear this one. No regret or baby girl. Come on. Then I was talking to demons. Oh, all the sights I've seen. All the sights I've seen. Yeah. Then I step up to the patio. Try to listen to the radio. Try to play it for my Casio. Casio the piano. God damn, it sounds so good. It's just so clean. It's so sexy. It's like, step into the patio. Just the way they harmonize. They are so good together. I can't pick, like, I like this one better than that one. Because they both, without one, it, it just wouldn't feel... It'd still be good. But you, I, both of them is like, uh, oh, bro. Even try to call my Romeo. Hey, just so hard to let it go. I'm not there, but I'm getting close. This is exactly what I was talking about when I said black people, black women are special. Look at them. Like, look at that style. Look at the way they vibe. Uh, just so, the, the, to me, the word, this might be corny as hell, is cool. They're just cool. They just got a vibe. Like, it's cool. You're going to be okay, baby girl. I'm feeling good. This shit's making me feel good. This is a vibe. Jill Scott vibes. 
I only know a couple of her songs, but I feel that vibe from it. Do it for the All the time I'm going through all this bullshit, I'm still picking up the pieces. You know, that's that's like a perfect thing for like a parent, a parent, a mother, a dad, whatever. They might be going through some hard shit, some rough shit. They got to be picking up pieces, picking up pain, picking up anguish, picking up, you know, this. I don't have money for the rent. I don't have money for the bills. I don't um, I just got fired. But I still got to keep this brave face on because I have a kid. I'm picking up pieces while I'm cleaning up shit at the same time. I like that. I'm picking up pieces while I'm cleaning up shit at the same time. That's good. All right. Continue. Yeah, cleaning up baby shit. <laughs> Hold on, they're going on a different song. I just want to, before I forget, I want to talk, I want to say something about the band. Let's not forget the band. That's a good-ass band. I don't know if it's their band or they just used it for the Tiny Desk thing, but it sounds really friggin' good. Clean, everything's coming in good. Everything's perfect. On point, at the right spots. The little magical pieces that they throw in there. The fucking soup that has the great ingredients. The soup of music, you know what I'm saying? Little bass, little guitar, nice little effects, piano, keyboard. It's all ingredients. It's all ingredients to fill out this big, beautiful pot of soup. Guys, if the video that I'm watching is laggy, please forgive me. Sometimes it gives me problems. I think it's the internet. But uh, let's hear this next song. I like Baby Girl. I like the first one a little better, but Baby Girl was good. So far, I haven't heard a bad thing yet. This is one of my favorite songs. Yeah. Hey, She's happy to play that one. Moving fast, cause the Uber on the way. Taking pictures, make sure you can see no lace. That week secure, pick the money in the safe. I look like they don't want to wait. Let you know when I'm out of my little way. Party don't start till we get there, baby. That party don't start. I used to be that guy. 
I used to, yo, people, we would have a parties all the time, house parties. Did you invite Angelo? Is Angelo coming? If the party, if I wasn't there, it was a whack party. It was a whack, corny ass party. Like, you shouldn't even go if I'm not there. I'm just saying. I'm like Chloe and friggin' Haley, man. If I ain't there, it ain't shit. I miss those days. But uh, I wasn't pulling up with my boo. I was pulling up with my six pack. She was a No drama, no baby mamas. That's funny. It's funny because I'm going through some baby mama drama. But we ain't going to get into that. Not on here. But, uh, man, this shit is fun. I'm having a good time. Oh, I love that. Can we hear that again? I love the way they were going back and forth. That was so cool. Do it. I really like how they, uh, what the hell was I going to say? Oh, they mix a lot of different genres. It's like jazzy. It's got some bluesiness in it. It's got some hip hop, rap. It's got a little rock too. If you, if you unpeel that onion, it's got a lot of layers to it. It's not just one genre. It's, it's a lot of elements. This shit is so good. And I love them together. They make a good team. They make a, a good duo. Is, is this like what they call their, their group? Chloe X Haley? Are they solo artists? Do they do music on their own? Let me know, guys. I know they do music on their own, but do they have like a group where they have a bunch of songs together? Obviously, I think they do, right? I mean, come on. They're doing it. Also, I want to say I'm going to smoke a cigarette. I don't smoke no more besides this elf bar shit. But once in a while, I will smoke a cigarette. And I want to smoke one because I'm enjoying this and I want to just chill with it. We don't need no dumbass husband to, to function. We don't need that. We got ourselves. We're powerful, strong women. What the fuck do we need some idiot for? Babe, do the dishes. Babe, can you pick me up some uh, a loaf of bread before you come home? I don't need that shit. We don't need no man. We don't need that. 
that ass to the floor baby come on mommy ophelia honey i'm just kidding guys if you want to see a podcast with me and my girlfriend go check it out there's a playlist on my channel go check it out and go like it leave some love To the early morning. If we weren't monsters shunned by society. I always thought it was funny. Like, there's a lot of songs where they say, you know, we're going to do it all night. Let's get freaky all night. Let's do it all night. Da, da, da. You know what I'm talking about. I was like, that sounds horrible to me. All night? All night. From morning till from night till morning. It sounds horrible. That's too long. That's too much. I wanna like you know, do that and then maybe cuddle, maybe watch a movie, maybe go eat, maybe watch a horror movie, maybe snug. You know, I don't wanna do it all night. I'm already skinny. You want me to lose more weight? I, the cardio shouldn't last eight hours. I'm just saying. Anyway. I'm just kidding. When people say do it all night, I'm sure they don't mean do it all night. They might mean do it for a little bit and then, you know, be done, take a break, chill, watch something, then go do it again, stop, do it again later. All right, you guys get the point. Let's fix our hair for this next song. I feel like it's going to be a bop. Look at that. Look at that. That's badass, bruh. Badass. In case you guys haven't no noticed, I'm a little hyperactive from this monster. Yay! <laughs> that was fun. That was so fun. Okay, so this next song that we're about to sing is the title track of our album, On Godly Hour. And uh, I know we all have our good days question. and bad days and our in-between, but don't we all want somebody to love us during all of those moments? And that's what this song is about. Yes, we do. So that's... If you're with someone and they don't love you during your shitty days, during your happy days, usually people do love you during your happy days. Why wouldn't you love me? I'm happy. Do you want me to be miserable? But uh, yeah, man, that's that's real. You know, lo take me for every part of me. My annoying side, my happy side, my bitchy, complaining, grumpy side. Love me for all of me. Don't just love me selectively. We hope y'all enjoy. so good at, at filling in the blanks like she comes in right when the other girl stops singing Cl Haley comes in and they connect it so perfect you know when you're feeling down call me da 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 when this happens call me da 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 I can't even do it good and I'm the one person doing it they connect so good they're like a friggin unit um yeah, whenever you need me, whatever you're going through, whatever bullshit happens, you can call me. I'm your babe. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to support you. I'm your person. You're my person.
love that harmony. When you decide you like a stuff, when you decide you need someone, when you don't have to think about love me, I be on Kalia. When you decide you like a stuff, when you decide you need someone, when you don't have to think about love me, I be on Kalia. Love me, 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 love me. So good. See, these parts are really jazzy, which is cool to me. It's their songs don't really get boring to me. Some songs I'm like, is this ever ending? You know, this video is 19 minutes long, 19, 20 minutes long. And sometimes I'm like, oh my God, I got to react to this shit. I got to react to a 19 minute video. I don't feel like that with this. I don't feel like that with them because it's, they're just so good. Like I'm enjoying it. I feel like I'm, this ain't work. This is just me watching music and enjoying it. Girl power. Girl power. Six foot one metalhead dude with tattoos. Saying girl power. Because, man, I don't get it a bit. I just want to say one thing. Let me go on one of my spiels. Alpha male types, you know, like, uh, got manly men that kind of, like, think put girls down or act like girls can't do the same shit men can do some shit they can't they can't lift weights and shit. they can lift weights but they can't lift as much weight but my point is girls are better than men girls are smarter than men girls are what makes the world go round the world would be a messed up place without women so the alpha males are idiots and i mean you're supposed to cherish these girls bro what the hell like, I don't get it. I'm seeing a lot of them, like, alpha male podcasts, too, lately. It's getting crazy. And I hate when a dude talks on what a girl wants or how a girl thinks. Like, shut the hell up. You don't live in a girl's head. All right, let's... I'm going off. <laughs> They're so cute the way they lay up and all like song? their vibes. It's our last song. They got vibes. Oh, man. Damn, one more song. What are we gonna do, guys? What am I gonna do? I need more. Well, you know, we like the tea. And I feel like that's exactly why we wrote this song because we always wanted to hear a song telling the perspective of the other woman and what does that feel like. Mm -hmm. And when the guy goes back to his other woman at home, does hole. the lady know about the other girl? Yeah, like, does she know? And it's like, what happens? What do you do? Like, I wouldn't know. Like, what would we do in that situation? Mm -hmm. I wonder. So it's about a guy cheating and the side girl. How does she feel when the when the guy goes back to his main girl, his wife, girlfriend, whatever? How does the side piece feel? I like it. Different perspective. As being a side piece once before in my life, he don't feel good. He don't like it. But that was different. That was just straight up cheating. <laughs> On both sides. <laughs> Neither people knew. <laughs> I've been damaged. I'm a damaged man. He thinks of me. She smells my perfume under your cologne I wonder what she thinks of me When you stay away After you make love to her But I'm still on your brain Ooh, brutal 
Angelo. <laughs> that wouldn't be me. I, 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 I thought she was going to say you should both go to hell. You should both go to hell. Don't go to Paris. Go to hell. If you go to Paris, I hope something happens bad to the plane. Okay, that's horrible. <laughs> Guys, don't. I didn't say that. I mean, if. I mean, kinda. I mean, yeah, maybe. I'm actually happy for you. So tell me, tell me, baby. I know this is crazy. You've done this before, so who are you to judge? When she sees what on your neck? B the hickey? She said something else. Bo ball? Boil? Does he have a boil on his cheek? Mark. On your neck, oh no, I didn't mean to go that far. Damn, she left a mark on his neck. You don't do that. Uh, quick story, guys. Never mind. I don't want to tell it. Anyway, that's happened to me where you see something on somebody's neck. And uh, I was like, oh, what is that on your neck? And they were like, oh, uh, something with my earring. My earring irritated it. I was like, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was born at night, but not last night. I wonder what she thinks of me when she sees my name on your full screen. You drop everything just for me. You know I Wait a minute. Can I hear this again? She said a lot. And I'm I'm not I didn't hear the lyrics cuz I'm just zoning in on how good she's killing it. Wait, I got to hear this from the beginning again. Her whole verse. Oh, I wonder what she thinks of me when she sees my name. God damn. You know my heart is yours. You tell me everything. I know you don't forget how much you needed me and want you to enjoy Paris. Your loving is careless, but it's not ever with me. Tell me, tell me, baby. I know this is crazy. You've done this before, so who are you to judge? God damn Just one. 
to be your baby Man. What's the price I gotta pay I wonder what she thinks of God damn! Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> Bye. That was amazing. Oh, they are good, bro. They are good. Unbelievable. Awesome. I feel like singing. They inspire me, man. I feel like singing. It ain't gonna be the kind of music they sing, cause I suck. I just wanna say that that was beautiful. The whole performance was classy, top notch, amazing, epicness. I'm just gonna sing right now, cause I'm random and my channel's kinda crazy. So don't leave, cause I do wanna talk about something right after I sing a song called Midnight Rider. Because they inspired me to want to sing. I've got to run the key from Madden, and I'm bound to keep on riding. I've got one. Let me talk about what I wanted to talk about, about the Little Mermaid thing. Ooh, I didn't really comment on the song at the end of it because I talked through the whole thing, so you already know what I think. I think it was amazing, beautiful. I love the way they sing. I love the way they work together as a unit. I just love how they sound. But let's talk about the Little Mermaid thing. People were so, oh my God, a black girl's playing the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid is white. No, the Little Mermaid is not white. The Little Mermaid is a crayon. The Little Mermaid is a drawing. The Little Mermaid is not white. And it's a peach crayon. It's not a white crayon. A white crayon, it would just look like you didn't color it in. But I'm just saying, it was ridiculous and stupid that anyone would could be offended or annoyed or mad about it. It's ridiculous. Who gives a shit? They used to have white people playing Arabian Nights. And you're going to bitch about that? I'm just saying. That's my thoughts on that. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I, st I want to see The Little Mermaid. I didn't see it yet. I want to see it because I used to watch the cartoon when I was a kid. I'm not offended by it. I don't give a shit. The Little Mermaid is a fictional character. Who cares? I could, I w I could see like getting mad if, if they had a black person playing... Uh, a biopic on, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a white person. Like a, a black woman playing Madonna, then I would say that's kind of weird. 
but not Little Mermaid. She's not real. Okay? Get over it. It's stupid. Who cares? Get over it. I always thought in my life that it is ridiculous that... <sighs> what was I going to say? Well, I am getting old, man. I just lose my thoughts like that. Like that. Oh, I, I like... I would think like i would put think my think of myself how annoying it would be to see so many fucking white people in movies like god can i see some of my own people in movies like i want to watch a movie and see my people in it like it would annoy the hell out of me so i'm glad that things are starting to kind of be more open in cinema and shit like that but you know it's still very white I don't want to always talk about race, but I just I just want people to know where I stand on that thing because the Little Mermaid shit was bullshit. All right, guys, I love you. We're going to get out of here. This video is long as hell. It's never going to end. I doubt anyone's even going to watch it this far. If you did watch it this far, let me know. Say, I, I lasted with you, brother. I stayed till the end. My hair's getting really dry because uh, my hair's crazy like a mop. All right, guys, I love you. We out. Have a good day. Take care. Please subscribe. Adios.